Which one do you like more? Period blood? Or food poisoning? Whatever you choose, they both affected by Arcane. And today, I'm gonna beat Elden Ring by only leveling Arcane. Which I thought gonna be much easier, but apparently I stumbled upon some unexpected challenges. Now, let's put some sets of rules. I'm only leveling Arcane, obviously. I'm only using weapons that has Arcane requirement. One weapon can only be used once for each main or Remembrance bosses. I'm allowed to use the same staffs and seals throughout the game. Outside of the main boss battle, I can use everything. Pretty simple, right? Let's get started. For this specific run, I pick Confessor class with only 9 Arcane. Now, the reason I pick Confessor particularly is because there aren't too many Arcane weapons and spells out there. But let's talk about it later. As for now, my priority is to get a single proper weapon and the closest one is Reduvia from Nerigus. The most important aspect in this run is having a fluid distinguished build to use certain weapons. So having necessary talismans in my pocket is a must. But luckily for me, most weapons and spells available usually focus on dex and faith, which should making these runs easier. Also level up a bit so I can use Reduvia. So I carefully arrange which weapons for which bosses, but before finalizing the build, I have to get the talisman slots first, which is in this case, I have to beat Margit. Using Reduvia for Margit is actually a waste in my opinion, but we have more options later in the game, so getting an easy start wouldn't be a problem. Besides, I can finally utilize Bleed after a very long time. All I can say, using the weapon skill is like casting a spell where it can be done in long range and without breaking a sweat. There goes Margit. I said it before, we don't have a lot of options on Arcane. However, a bunch of incantations, specifically Dragon Incantations, has Arcane as their requirements. I don't quite like most of them, but they might be able to fill some empty slots on certain bosses. So therefore, it is a good reason for me to kill the big old Greyo for the runes and the five Dragon Hearts as well. Also, I want to know that I'm allowed to use the same staff and seals throughout the game. So I went back to this annoying chariot-ass dungeon to get the Dragon Communion seal. Let's get back on track. I'm making my way through Stormvale and along the way, I left a nasty bad impression to a lady. Because I thought Godric was gonna be easy. He's the best guy to test out my new toy. I still experienced the feat, but getting used to him just happened in no time. There are a lot of big gaps on his moves that allowed me to cast and also the spell itself has some reach upon landing a hit. So this spell is quite good to cast on medium range as well. This is my first time using Dragon Claw outside of Pokemon games, but it worked differently from what I thought. Say goodbye to Godric, kids. After defeating Godric, we got access to almost anywhere in the lands between. So let's just get the shopping cart and start browsing the catalog. My first objective is getting most weapons and locations from Altos Plateau to Moguin Palace. It would be much better to get everything before going to main bosses, so I can just pick one weapon each and fight the boss back to back. The other area that I haven't got access to is Nokron. Now, I don't have a specific need at the moment, but I think it will be beneficial later on if I need anything. So I'm heading to Redmain's castle to kill Radan. I'm using another dragon spell that is the Rotten Breath. This one is quite popular, but let's say Rodan was a bit harder than I expected, so I dipped out and played Colosseum with my friends instead. Where is it? Okay. Shit! Of course, I shouldn't parry that. What the fuck? Alright, enough lollygagging. Get back to Rodan. 
So Rodan might be the worst enemy of slow casting spells, and this is one of the reasons why I don't like the dragon spell. But what I did wrong previously is just because I don't treat the spell like how I usually use a melee weapon. You gotta find a good opening and a good timing. I believe my FP is already enough for that, so I don't have to worry about it. Okay, move back now. Okay, shoot. There we go. Okay, the rod has stopped, so it's time for me to land another one. But I believe this opening is not good on second phase, bro. But that's okay, we're gonna find another opening then. Come on, do the gravity pull, please. Never mind. Ah, fuck, it's gonna be gravity pull after this. No way! Ah. It's okay, we gotta still have time. Rod. Nice. Good one. Shoot. Shoot. Oh no. I was I was being too greedy. Never mind. It's okay. Oh thank god dude. I was about to die, bro. Okay, he's rotted. Nice. About time. Oh my god. Okay, level 47 now. It is worth to mention that I also got almost every crystal tier that gives 10 points to certain stats But I guess I don't need to focus on strength since most of these weapons scales with dex or faith Now, for everyone's favorite part, math Let's see, I made the whole thing myself so please give the video a like, okay, please? Starting off with 12 dex, then add it with Radigan's Ore Seal, Protesis Heirloom, Okina's Mask, Dex Knot, and it all equals 35 dex that's high enough to wield Morgoth's Curved Sword. And for Faith, 14 Faith increases by Marika's Scar Seal, Two Finger Heirloom, Helic Tree Knight Helmet, Faith Knot equals 34 Faith. Already far ahead to use those obnoxious dragon spells. Now of course, some of these items I still haven't acquired them yet, but we'll eventually get them later. For now, I'm still hunting some accessible weapons within the mid-game locations and they took a while honestly, since some weapons are quite hard to get. No, this is not what I want. Okay, so apparently we have a different location that has more of these guys wielding this weapon. Yeah! That took a couple minutes. Okay, as much as I like to use Nagakiba, but this is not like the weapon we have to use in this run. But we have Eleonora over here that we're gonna show her that my my bleed is superior than her. Superior bleed, let's go! What the fuck? Okay, never mind, never mind. <laughs> I thought she's gonna use the dragon stuff. There is one more Albinoric weapons that I uh, wanna get. And I think in order to get that, we have to beat Loretta and buy that thing from Pedia. Which is uh, not gonna be a big of a problem, I suppose. No, I was wrong, dude. This is why I don't like dragon spells in general, because how slow they can be. But yeah, okay, this is probably the last time I'm gonna complain about these spells, okay? Okay, looks like getting hit is inevitable, so I need to sacrifice a bit of my HP to get a solid hit. Bro, stop dodging, bro. This fight took me quite some time, and Loretta probably the opposite of how I thought the fight would be. Okay, the timing... The timing is weird. I don't understand. The damage was not the best here, but even with limited FP, the fight is totally doable. But looking for that tight window is still hard for a couple first attempts. Okay, nice. Oh my god, that was so lucky, dude. Yeah! Oh, dude, that actually took longer than I expected. Oh, we gotta, we gotta jump down as well. So, Pedia here actually sells the weapon that I really want to. 
Yeah, it's called the ripping the ripple blade. The talisman pouch. So um, to fill that one, I think we have to get some dex talismans. The objective is to get the prothesis heirloom, and to be able to acquire that, I play a bit of Millicent's quest by beating Commander Oni. Fire arrows, please. By beating, I mean chasing him with poison. All right, nice. I didn't know that headshot actually deals more damage. Yeah! <laughs> Let's fucking go. Give me the thing. Thank you very much. All that done and it's time to proceed to Lindell. Uh, I crave some fist weapons but I didn't expect it would be um, the bad ones. But let's try it, come on. Let's go bro. Oh, alright, the damage is pretty decent. Should be should be done in no time. Go! Nice. No! And probably I'm gonna I'm gonna have to utilize my light attack more just because it has like the double hit. The double attack ones. Uh, the roll attack actually didn't give us like a double hit. It's okay. Utilize the light attack. Embrace the light attack. At least I got the hit. Uh, out of stamina, chill, chill. Oh wow! Wow, I thought I was about to get hit. <laughs> that's okay. That's uh, that means I'm in a very good condition. Okay, every time he does that, though, he's making me oh create distance. I don't like it, but I like it now because we're close. Even though that hammer is just very intimidating to me. Chill. All right, very chill. It's one more hit. One more hit, please. Please. Don't do anything. There we go. There we go. I didn't do anything stupid. Very nice. As I mentioned earlier, I tried to use most dragon spells at early bosses, and I have the same opinion as I fought Loretta before, but it's easier, honestly speaking. Alright, nice. What a great start. <laughs> so I save all the good weapons for uh, later bosses. Let me just get rid of these bad ones, especially the one involving dragon. I hate dragon spells. Oh wow, he actually didn't get baited at all. Okay, so it's actually doable though. Okay, but I get the idea. I get the idea. Apparently, for a uh, longer range, I don't think he's able to... Um... No, never mind. There was just some lucky pull, I think. The HP is banging. It's getting lower and lower. So, um, just keep the pace, please. Don't, don't do anything weird, I hope. That's right. Keep the pattern like that. Alright, thank God I still have... No! Okay, never mind. Yeah, I still have one more red flask, so everything will be alright. Do not dodge. Do not... There we go! <laughs> so, we reached the skill check boss, which is Morgoth, and I plan to use the Oracle Bubble. But the spell also scales with intelligence, which is what Confessor lacking the most. But it's convenient since I already met Rani and I just have to progress with her quest a little more to get the Stargazer Heirloom. Okay, let's get naked. Alright bro, so I'm using the dragon incantation once again. It is something that I... Oh wow. Wow! Hmm. My training session for the Gutsky Duo. Another addition for extra intelligence, the High Macron will provide you with some brain cells. I did multiple bubble run before, but I feel this one was my first attempt. So I went back a little bit for the rituals for talisman, uh, you know, just to get some extra damage that I might need. Now, is it just me or Morgoth is like dodging my bubbles more frequently this time? Usually casting on openings is the safest spot, but now I have to lean more into riskier approach. Close range casting is good for me because all the bubbles will hit. However, my recovery speed barely exceeded him on certain moves, so I gotta gamble a little bit this time. 
Okay, I'm I'm playing really close to the edge now, but it's okay. As long as that hits, that's all that matters now. Bro, that bubble ain't hitting a single time. What the hell? I just wasted a bunch of my precious bubbles, man. What? Okay, chill, chill, chill. Okay, doing the thing. There we go. Now cast. Cast again. Nice. Second phase is more predictable for me, but some moves almost caught me off guard. Okay, cast now. It's okay, we can heal later. No, wait, no, I hit, I hit it move. It's okay. Uh, oh, nice, nice. <laughs> oh, wow, 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 wow. If I want to play this carefully, I don't think I can... Okay, no, I won, I won. There we go. <laughs> Bro. Okay, another area unlocked. This time the route will be different from my usual playthrough. I'm planning to go to the heli tree to get the night helmet, but yeah, we'll talk about it later. As for now, there are a couple essential things to do. I got more god sword for later bosses. I beat Okina and also got his head as well. Yeah, dexterity would be a good point. Also, and river of blood as well. Oh yeah, I went underground again, but this time it's to kill Vare. Avoid the mosquitoes at all costs. <laughs> what? Yo, he actually has a quest. I didn't know. I thought just I just have to uh, beat him and we're done. Oh ho ho! Poor Ver. Also got the Godric's great rune just in case I need more points. All right, Nile with this um, egregious weapon. Wow, the damage wasn't great. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this is my first ever to struggle against Nile for a very long time, dude. Oh shit! Now the problem might be on my stamina, so I got a green turtle talisman. But now I look deeper into this, my problem was simply skill issues, man. Like, not with Nile, but with his banished knights. What? 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 What, what is that? What is happening? Oh. Man. Gila kali ya. Wow. So what I need to do is simply utilize the weapon skill and stun lock them and repeat. Depends on the RNG, I might be able to pull it off perfectly, but Nile himself, well, uh, he's Nile after all. So not so creative on his moveset, so as long as I'm not doing any oopsies, it should be easy. Oh, okay, all right, all right, timing, timing, timing. There we go. My hope is just very minimal right now, so I, I just wanna like finish this real quick. It's been an hour, it's only Nile, bro. Come on. I wasted like so much time with this guy. Oh no. Oh no, I ran out. Three minutes. Three minutes is too much. Oh my God. Okay, it's happening. But that's okay. How long does it take? Does it take a single hit? A little 20 damage, I think. Oh! Oh! Dude, oh finally, man! I, w I was just thinking I'm I'm gonna restart the whole thing, man. Holy shit! So the way of how things went, I think it's best to put my trip to Helic Tree on hold until I get my weapons fully upgraded. So let's just go to Fire Giant instead with Eleonora's Blade. I feel like I choose to turn this into a very easy fight by choosing this weapon. But that's what it's run for. To utilize Arcane, and Blade is something related to Arcane, right?
Nice. This is what I've been looking for. Uh, or I mean, I would. Uh, what I should say is, it was supposed to be easy, but sometimes I was getting uh, a little anxious, you know. Fire Giant always makes me anxious. I I just don't like the whole premise to attack his hands, bro. Come on. I just want to be safe under his crotch. But it's okay, I'm gonna attack his hands. Or maybe relying on bleed as well? I don't know if bleed actually has any significant effects on her giant. I mean, we, we saw it just now, but it's not really that much. Nah, no, no, that, that is... Uh, unsafe, unsafe, unsafe. Unsafe for work, bro. Not safe for work. <gasps> oh, okay. The bleed. The bleed did it. Okay, level 76. That's not too bad. I was expecting to be at level uh, around 80 at this part of the game. Instead of Helic Tree, I spawn in Inferno Missoula to beat Godskin Duo. After that, I can continue my journey. For Godskin Duo, I'm using Serpent Bow with Blood Bone Arrows and Serpent Arrows. I gotta combine the Period Blood and Food Poisoning at the end of the day. If I said Niall took me so long, then Godskin Duo was double the time. I hate these guys with all my patience, but all I can do is shooting from distance. Inflict Poison, Bleed, whatever, as long as I can kill the Noble back to back. But doing so wasn't easy, obviously. The same complaint I had from my other videos, that Godskin Duo is all about luck. <gasps> Fuck, dude! My main focus is to create a good distance. So I have the time in the world to attack and dodge. However, the Apostle will always be the one that disrupts the peace. Usually the second round is where the challenge started to increase as they have more resistance towards status effects. But all I can do is repeating the same thing over and over again. Alright. Alright, bro that took a while, I'm quite set up right now, ready for the third round, please. <gasps> bro, the, I almost got killed man, thank god I'm still alive, this should be the one. Bro, sh that is indeed some luck man, like I've experienced it a lot in this fight, but please do not run out, do not run out. Please, I, I need it. Yeah, baby! Oh! Whoa! W. Finally, a W after multiple L's that I... We got 80 Arcane now. With the final bell bearing acquired, I can now continue my trip to Helictree, which is smoother than I expected. Oh my god, first time. First time in history, I didn't die. As you know, the real Loretta is gonna be present, and I'm using a different and definitely better weapon than before. The Ripple Halberd, as I have like my... Never mind. Alright, double attack. Nice, she is, she is cornered. Epic. Now weapon skill, uh, yep. All the, all the way combo. Move back now. Okay, dodge. Dodge again. Nice. Bro, that thing always makes me anxious, bro. Come on. I magically avoid that. But I'm so grateful. Okay, double hit. Nice. One more. And then dodge, I guess. And hit once. Oh, shit. He's not died yet. Okay. Alright, there we go. Mmm. There you have it. Okay, 84 Arcane. I guess I'll have to fight Melania early, but I'm ready. With Varus Bouquet, because I'm a gentleman and I want to confess to her. Corpse. 
Let's see how this weapon works. Oh wow, it's not as good as I expected, but it's okay. We're gonna rely on using bleed now, because I'm a I'm a gentleman, all right. Yeah, as you can see, I'm fully relying on bleed because the bouquet, being the gentleman's weapon here, deals zero damage to woman. But here's the thing: the more she got bleed, the more resistance she'll have. So more hit will be needed in order to bleed her. And hitting her wasn't easy either. Most registered hit was from blood tax, but pulling too many attacks might not be a good idea since she'll notice she is being ripped off and start deflecting my attacks. Oh. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm safe, I'm safe. Oh my f dude. So on phase one, I can be a little more comfortable on landing damage. Most of them with blood tags, and the good thing about the weapon skill is, even without FP, the bleed will still register after a couple hits. But I can only hit her once with attacks, then hit her with regular attacks for the next window. Because she has this habit of deflecting or jumping away to avoid getting hit, and her recovery speed from that deflect is insanely fast. I definitely getting killed if I did that the wrong way. For second phase, things become much more difficult as you can see. I couldn't see any opening to pull the blood tax, so I thought maybe I have to attack her normally, but it would take too long. However, after multiple deaths and a couple hours of trying, I see a small window of opening. So Melania can fake her moves by doing another Scarlet Explosions, and I'll take that opportunity to land some numbers. But the explosion has some range, and to bypass that, I have to roll forward instead of backwards, or to the sides. Because the explosion didn't reach her behind, so that's the sweet spot to commit attack fraud. The only thing I have to be aware of is, how is this Scarlet Explosion a fake or a real one? Because if I fail to identify them at the moment, I'll be dead. Oh, 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 oh. okay, okay, alright, alright. Shit. Wow, <laughs> one of the craziest one I had so far. <gasps> ah, all right, nice, nice. Okay, drink, drink now. Okay, don't mess up. All right. Okay, this should kill her if I do this correctly now. I guess the bleed will affect. Okay, now. Jump attack. Now, weapons. Oh, shit. No. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Alright, nice. Very nice, bro. Very nice. <laughs> Melania is out of the picture, and I can relieve myself a little bit by continuing my playthrough to Malekith. Okay, alright. Hello, guys. I'm feeling a bit sick today. Well, but we still continue with the Malekith uh, thingy, his bell. I'm using Ripple Blade combined with the Blood Flame. Alright, this better be an easy fight. I don't want to spend another 5 hours on a single boss. I believe the Blood Flame actually holds, holds in for like uh, 3 minutes, maybe. Okay, cast the Blood Flame again, this is my favorite spell from now on. Unless, I don't have any weapon that can be casted with the Blood Flame anymore. I think the only available list from the Arcane Weapons only the, the Ripple Blade and the Ripple Crescent Hobbit, the one that I used for Loretta just now. But we don't need that. Alright, second phase, so I can cast the weapon skill if you allowed me to, Malekith. Anything that involves Destin Death would be our opening, so let's uh, let Malekith do that as well. Shit, I'm running out of the blood flame and stuff, but that's okay. Damage is still alright. 
I was expecting like he's gonna get very aggressive uh, once I casted the spell. It's not an offensive spell at the end of the day. Whoopie doo, whippie dee woo, skitty be pop pop pop. All right, there we go. That's Malekith for you. Now, I don't know if using Swarm of Lies works against Gideon, but I expect the bleed will do the job. So I never tried the Swarm of Lies? Maybe Gideon is a, is a very nice test subject, we'll see. Yeah, bro. Oh shit. Oh, I forgot I've been Melania, so he, he, he's able to do that now. Oh my god. Not really, it seems. Gideon also took a bit while. Shit! Searching for another way around to bleed him because I never saw him this aggressive and keeps running towards me. That makes the flies less effective on him. But that's okay because after spending a couple minutes, I found another way around to get him. Come on, get bleed please. No. That's right. <laughs> oh, so I think Gideon needs to be baited. Over there. Now it's gonna be a little bit hard in shorter range, but uh, once he does that, the Azure, yeah, that's actually very beneficial for us. I, I love it. <gasps> chill, chill, chill. I guess uh, one more arcane? Okay, let's relax for a moment. There are only two main bosses left and a couple weapons ready to use. I think all the buff and stats booster are already more than enough, but having more is always a good thing. So let me continue my quest with Millicent until a certain point. Another weapon and spell also available after beating Mook. Now, I know second phase Mook can be frustrating, so I'll be using the embodiment of Bleed itself. There goes without saying. Fire, I don't like it. Nice. I think I don't like it, but Moke! Oh! Okay. Um, the fire actually prevent me to do that. That's why I am not a big fan of it. You can spill all the blood you want. At least let me win. Let me win. I can see it. Let me win. There we go. We finally reached Max Arcane, level 99, with the level. Well, it's level 100. Let's see if my mood changes over time. But for now, it's gonna be Godfrey. I don't want to underestimate him. So I prepare myself with the bloody Hellas. Oh yeah, okay, so it's very slow. Please do not mind my death compilation, it's just my attempt to pull the iframe dodge or whatever it is. Yep, the weapon skills can also be used to dodge attacks, which is very handy, but other movesets don't look as fast as it looks like. While Godfrey has a solid pattern and easy to follow, I cannot be too reckless on how far he can reach me. Shit! Alright, it's actually um, a lot of window to do that. Yeah. 
now. Hit once and then move away. Oh, I should have used the weapon skill, but... No, let's not get ahead of myself. Hit. Okay, it's gonna be... Two times. There we go. <gasps> okay, bleed please. Bleed kill him. Wow. Alright. I was a bit conflicted because I was planning to use the Executioner Sword against Radagon. I know Radagon is weak against fire, so I thought redeeming Moog's Remembrance will give me that better option. But now the weapons needs to be in my holster since Elden Beast will take too much time to beat. So maybe I'll get the weapon for it. Oh. Never mind. I don't actually need the weapon anyway. So I'm using Blood Boon because of fire damage. And it is less effective than I expected, but the spell itself is pretty solid, so Radagon's fight is totally doable. The FP consumption is quite a lot if I'm being honest, and the major problem with this is just there's only a few openings that allows me to cast. Casting speed isn't fast, but not the slowest as well. However, Radagon would outspeed me on most occasions, so I have to precisely cast on his slow winded moves. Now of course Radagon took a little bit of my sanity just because a single mistake means I have to restart the whole fight but I believe I'm able to beat him. I have light roll, I have decent casting speed and the damage is quite okay, I, I just need more time. Another weapon for Elden Beast. I pick Mogwin Spear instead. This weapon can be a powerhouse if Elden Beast can be bleeded. However, the good news is I don't need to bleed. I also tried to use it against Radagon beforehand, but what can I say about the best weapon out there, huh? It's not even a challenge. But for Elden Beast, I brought the Crimson Hold here just to tank the Elden Stars later on. Now the damage from the spear isn't as significant as Radagon's, but still on the decent level. And the rest, you can see it yourself. Right. Yeah. Yay, I'm still I survived that. <laughs> Just let's say I don't have the light load then. I would have been killed like the rest of my previous attempt before this. No wait, I forgot about that. Okay. Alright. He's gonna do that again, that's fine. Okay, it's time to chill. My man, my man is a chill. No. Oh. Okay, nice, epic. <laughs> I thought I was about to die. Hmm, about time. In conclusion, I would say leveling Arcane is much more easier than mine and or stamina as the weapon available are very versatile but let me know what you think about this run. As usual, special thanks to channel members to financially support me and I want to thank you guys for watching this video as well. If you like content like this, give it a like and also subscribe, they really mean a bunch to me. Alright, see you later, goodbye.